Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. Up to now we have installed the EJS embedded JavaScript template in our ExpressJS project and we have successfully executed that one for a 404 not found page. Now let's try to apply into our other templates also. Let's say that this is our home page. So we know that this is our home page. So as the heading itself indicates that this is an e-commerce website. If we try to see the output for this one. So this indicates the e-commerce website and here we are showing this is the home page, right? So this home page is nothing but it's a static page only. So whatever the content here it is having, it is static all the time. It remains the same only. Now we need to apply the dynamic nature of this template using the EJS. So that is the reason we are using this template engine. Now let's say that this is our e-commerce project. We want to display the products data. Normally in our browser, what we will try to do, so when we are trying to learn, so we will maintain an array of products details and we will try to loop over the products details and we will show the products details. When we try to refresh that page, again the product details will be visible. So in the same scenario, we will try to use it here also. So now, in our utils, here I am creating a new file that is nothing but a products.js which contains about the products details. So this one remember that we are writing the javascript in the server not in the browser when you try a new product when you try to add a new product inside the javascript when you refresh that product all the products will be removed in the browser why because that memory will be removed but here the server is in the the javascript is in the server side so when you try to refresh also the products details will remain the same why because the products are saved in the server so that is a different thing so now let's try, now we don't have idea, we haven't learned much about the relational database and also the NoSQL database. So let's try to maintain the products details in the in an array and let's try see how we can loop over these all products details and all those things. Afterwards, after learning this database and all those things, <coughs> we'll try to integrate the database in our Node.js application. Now here, this is our products it's helper file, like Angular service, how you'll be having same thing, same thing. I'm creating a products and here I am creating a variable products is an array and here I am creating an un another way another method add product and this one will be having a product so what it will try to do is so this one will try to push it so whenever we call this add product method so this product add product method will push the product into the products that's it <coughs> product so let's export these two one these two var uh, variables module dot exports is equal to so I am exporting the products and also the add product okay that's it now here now here we have exported these products and also add product now what I will try to do is so we, this is our simple products uh, service file now let's go into the homepage.html so in this homepage.html we need to display the products details so for this one the supporting route is here now we have used the template engine let's try to initialize the views data so views data is equal to in this one we need to send the products details the products details are present in the product service file so let's import the product service file so constant products data is equal to require of utils so this one is present in the utils right utils slash products so let's try to maintain it here now this products data here dot products i can use dot products and now we need to send a page title also to show the page title that is nothing but a home page <coughs> i can write home page products list so like this i will try to maintain it that's it now this is the uh, list of data uh, list of data i want to send it to the template so here instead of using the send file what we need to use render so i need to use the render and here i can use home page so everything will be automatically integrated why because we are having a default template engine as ejs so there is no need to mention this one and also the path also we have mentioned the default path is views and here we need to include we need to send the views data that's it now these variables whatever the key is present in this object we can use it as a variable in the template now let's go to the home page here this is our home page and let's try to rename that one to e.js sorry ejs this is our homepage.ejs file 
and here we have integrated the template so here i can use percentage is equal to and also i can use percentage slash inside this one i need to give page title that's it so we have given here and here in this one let's say that products list i want to show the products list products list here i want to loop over the products list so div i will loop over the div or uh, what i can do is here for looping over this one in the ejs so here i can use like this and if i will try to tell that if products dot length if products 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 sorry products not p p small if products dot length is there so we can add a javascript like this if length is there then we can loop over this one by one okay this div and all those things we can loop over one by one we can loop over this one one by one else if it is not there means then what i can do here so this one is simple syntax so as we already already all are available aware of this one so else is there means then what i can do here so i will try to show do no products available okay available no products available so we can write it like this so now if we are having a products available means in this loop we can loop over this all the things one by one we can loop over here so this is the thing i want to tell you now let's try to see the output so now home home page dot ejs is there and also here the products is there right now these are empty and the home dot js we have rendered this home home page and we are sending the views data that is nothing but products page title these all the things we are trying to send it let's execute let's try to restart this one so whether we are having or not i don't know so let's restart it once again so it will take some time to restart let it restart so it has started now let's go on to this one and here if i try to refresh this page what will happen see now these no no products are available let's say that i will add some sample product here so before instead of having empty i will try to add title so product 1 now i have added one so now what it need to do in the home page dot ejs file so it needs to it should not go into the it should go into the if condition it should not go to the if condition it should not go into the else condition now here if i try to write products available okay if i try to write it like this and if i see the output refresh it now here we are able to see that product available now we need to show the product details that's it if we want to show the product details what we need to do is here i need to loop over one by one so looping over one by one is nothing but for let product of products so we can use this products let's product of products and here i can use like this and here up to here we can close like this that's it now here we can use this one and we can have it like this yeah enough now here what i need to do so here we can have an h3 and here we can offer outputting data we will do like this and here i can use product dot title so this is the title available that's it now if i try to loop if i try to show you the output now what will happen let's see if i click on this one see now i am able to see the product one so that means it is successfully looping over the element uh, products details and it is showing this product one so like this we can use so the syntax and all those things are very easy so if you want the extension you can install this ejs language support or ejs snippets so like this we can we have some of the ejs support so you can install in your vue.js code visual studio code and you can use it so this is uh, how we can send the we can send the product details now if you try to uh, refresh all the time so it will it will try to show the product details i will try to show you we will try to create a simple add product form and also we will add it to the product details and we'll see whether it is working perfectly or not we'll try to see it in the next session so this is how we will be creating a products details so right now we are saving in a simple variable so afterwards we will try to get the product details from the database and here in the home page in the home.js file in the routing file i have created an object and i am extracting the products data products details from that products file and i am sending it to the template engine so here i am using a simple if condition and also a simple for loop condition for looping over there and we can use it like this so for uh, handling this one in the uh, handlebars and all those things it is a different case but here it is uh, somewhat very easy so that is the reason we have chosen the ejs template engine hope you understood about this one 
in the next video what we will try to do is we will try to add a product form create a product form and we will try to add it in the products array and we will let's see that whether the product added product is getting updated here or not we will try to see hope you understood about this template engine looping over and finding out the variables if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you